Hello again, this is Alex with MasterChartsTrading.com and this is Market Recap for Friday, December 23rd, 2022. As always, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel and share this video with others. Uh, your likes, your shares and your comments is what keeps this channel going. Additionally, this is how the YouTube algorithm works. Uh, the more likes this video gets, the more um, people will see it. So please don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, today we'll look at stocks. I think there is a decent chance of a rally for stocks into the new year. So whatever, Christmas rally or Santa Claus rally. Um, high yield junk debt uh, are showing resistance. I think this is good for stocks and I'll explain why. Uh, not resistance, resilience uh, to selling. So I'll show you why that I think that is a good thing for stocks. We'll look at an older trade for a Tesla that we actually did for subscribers. 50% um, profit on a short Tesla uh, that was opened in October, uh, September rather, August, September. So congratulations on that. And dollar is approaching a downtrend level. Gold could benefit greatly from this fact if you are a subscriber stay tuned there will be a separate video we will cover all of these various stocks uh, we have a natural gas trade going uh, qqq the nasdaq and many other stocks like uh, boeing costco visa walmart vmware general electric etc so stay tuned all right let's look at s p 500 first of all so on this chart you can see four horizontal lines green blue red and yellow lines these are my proprietary master charts trading.com price action indicators you can have them on your chart on tradingview.com this is a tradingview.com interface you need a free tradingview account then sign up on my site i will open the door for you so here's what's happening right this instant so the stock in this case s p 500 was below this yellow line so definitely in a downtrend and it bounced and notice it bounced towards this red support resistance line in fact we've been bouncing around it from november 11th where i'm hovering right now and there were multiple sell short signals i was very reluctant if you listen to my previous videos if you're a subscriber i i was consistently reluctant to sell short here because i have a strange suspicion that this is a bear trap um, i can't really explain it uh, it's just a feeling the system as it stands right this instant uh, is telling us to sell short i am again reluctant to do that right now so uh last uh, signal was on thursday the 15th of Dece december right here where i'm hovering notice downward face and arrow we got as low as uh, yesterday we got as low as um, let me see like 38 um, 37.80 or so um, before that I was saying that we are most likely going to retest this breakout level from November 8th and we indeed did that just recently we're right around those levels so right now I think there is a good chance we have indeed bottomed and i would not be surprised if we pop higher on monday uh, looking at four hour chart so i'm sorry this is a weekly chart so looking at four hour chart it's very uh, you know exact very uh, granular uh, so we're talking about you know days to maybe weeks out for a four hour chart so four hour chart just means that each of the candlesticks is four hours worth of activity now notice what i'm using is i'm using continuous futures is symbol is es1 exclamation point i am not using etf spy here's spy and notice there's a ton of gaps here see there's a ton of gaps 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 you don't want to do that uh, if you're doing intraday something less less than one day's worth of activity so interval is not one day but four hours so if you use four hour chart you need to use what's called a continuous security so in this case futures if that didn't make any sense by the way you can send me a message uh, you can send me a message right here on trading view you can also send me a message on my site master chairs trading right there uh, uh, send us a message 
Okay, so um, moving on uh, to the four hour chart, we're looking, so there's a drop from uh, December 13th into December 22nd into yesterday in a small rally. So like right now we're between two uh, levels to watch. One is this yellow line 3784, one is this red line at 3882. We're sort of right between the two. Uh, now, again, it's called it a hunch, but I have a feeling we will continue higher from here into uh, New Year's. Uh, most likely we'll continue higher. You know, fingers crossed uh, that this is indeed a bear trap. Bear traps happen when uh, we have a, a signal to sell short. We sell short and then the security like gives us a little bit of uh, movement in our direction and it just comes back up. So fingers crossed this is indeed a bear trap and we will continue higher. Um, one of the big reasons why I think this could be a bear trap is because I'm looking at Dow Jones. This is Dow Jones futures. Notice it broke out into the bull market. Uh, bull market by my definition just means we closed above the blue support resistance line. Uh, again, if you need those lines, uh, you can look in the description of the video. So all we need to know is did the stock, in this case uh, futures for Dow Jones, closed above this blue line? If yes, it means we are now in an uptrend or bull market. So Dow Jones actually is in a bull market as we speak. S&P is kind of dragging its feet. So one of the big reasons why I think that uh, stocks may have indeed turned around and we're done with the bear market is because of Dow Jones. Dow Jones is currently in the bull market. We're not, meaning that we're not that far off from the all-time highs. So all-time highs are like, you know, a few percentage points away. There they are uh, on January of this year. So if Dow Jones makes a new high, then pff, yeah, we're done with the bear market. But I think we're already, there is a good chance of us being done with the bear, mar bear market. So I think we're, I think we might be breaking out into a new, uh, towards new highs. So it's possible, very, very possible. Now NASDAQ is dragging badly. Um, notice that we're actually literally next to new lows uh, right, the, right now. So it's not a, not a great, you know, situation. But then again, uh, you know, if you look some of the, some of the stocks, like for example, Apple, that's a new low. Can it go lower? There's a possibility, but um, I mean, the new lows are just around the quarter. But there's also a good chance it might just bottom here and skyrocket. That's also a possibility. And Amazon the same way. Uh, we're next. We're actually hitting new lows. So. It's, it's like, um, I guess you can say bear, not, not bear market, but like a bottom pickers market, maybe. Um, if we literally bottom here, then uh, I think, uh, you know, we could, we can make a case that we will continue significantly higher, possibly towards new high, possibly the bear market is over and we're done with this. Um, craziness. Uh, additionally, I'm, I'm following um, the news from Ukraine and Russia and Putin the other day mentioned that, uh, first of all, he's not, they're not, the Russians are not supposed to say the word war, war, they're supposed to say special military operation. All of a sudden Putin comes out, says, we want to end this war. <laughs> so. So the lawmakers, uh, one of the lawmakers in, in Russia is suing Putin uh, to put Putin in jail uh, for saying the word war because now he's, he's discrediting, quote unquote, discrediting his own uh, military, or, you know, whatever military army. On a separate subject, so that's, uh, I think, uh, contributing to the possibility of ending of this insanity. Moving on to Russell 2000, so the small caps index. Uh, notice there's a couple of lines here that I uh, put out, put on this uh, chart in uh, end of November, mon Monday, November 28th, or November, I'm sorry, uh, Friday, November 25th, where I'm hovering right now. And so a couple of ideas I had um, 
task of what the Russell 2000 will do is based on the projection of my lines into the future. So I'm, I'm turning them on right now. So notice what's happening to the lines there, especially this blue super resistance line is coming down towards the price action. And notice where the price action, uh, or the, the the possibility the future projection of this line is going to bottom out on January 17th as of right this instant so my thinking is something is something big is going to happen in mid-January I'm truly hopeful that it's going to be the end of the war in Europe and we can finally breathe a sign of relief relief uh, that at least nuclear war didn't yet break out um, now, you can see that there's two possibilities. One is that we break out here and we just continue higher and make new highs. Uh, another possibility is not. Uh, we're not going to break out here and we're actually going to collapse So uh, towards new lows. But I still think that we're going to retest this uh, blue line uh, in, in, the near, in the near term. So, obviously, I am rooting for this uh, bullish scenario where we break out. Uh, into the new bull market, uh, but uh, you know you can't really turn the blind eye towards the possibility of a collapse. So next few weeks will be crucial, uh, and I will be truly watching the news from Ukraine. And I'm hoping you uh, caught some of the uh, President Zelensky's uh, speech. Uh, I mean, just just wow, uh, great! Uh, I'm 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 in awe of, of this guy. Uh, so hopefully um, this war will be over very soon uh, and uh, uh, we will you know move on with our lives so to speak another reason why I am more hopeful about uh, the current state of uh, the market stock market is because uh, of the high yield bonds so right now we're look looking at JNK junk debt so uh, notice that also uh, this JNK uh, thing, uh, you know, pre previously we sold it short here in August uh, and it actually worked out really well. Now we possibly have bottomed here in October and moved higher. Again, a couple of short signals, uh, but again, I put, I put here, is, it a, is this a bear trap? Question mark. So notice, uh, when the selling began here on 16th of December, we can look at S&P, see this uh, 15th of December candle, 16th of, it's a big red candle, and then we got to follow through for two more days uh, into 16th of December and into Monday of this week, Monday the 19th. Now look at the way junk debt is behaving, and it's barely there, I mean there was barely any selling really. So. This is what's given me hope about uh, that this is indeed a bear trap. Uh, once again, uh, I, will, I will show you that uh, junk debt, high yield bonds, uh, and stocks correlate highly, meaning that they do the same thing most of the time. So this is high yield bonds, and uh, down below here in yellow is what's called correlation coefficient to the S&P 500. Again, by and large, they're doing the same thing. In fact, current correlation is where I'm hovering 0.94, meaning that in 94% of cases, high yield bonds and um, stocks do the same thing. So uh, if uh, high yield bonds are barely selling, maybe this is an indicator that stocks um, will not sell, uh, you know, dramatically. And maybe this is indeed a bear trap, and maybe we're done with a stock market, uh, with a bear market for stocks. Okay, now I wanted to show a recent trade uh, that uh, some of the subscribers actually took, and big congratulations. I mean, if you bought puts uh, where, I, where I'm hovering here in September, uh, or even in uh, August, if you bought puts, you know, even half a year out, uh, you're, you're a rich man. Because this is a 50% collapse. Uh, Tesla went from 287, where I'm hovering, when the short alert was issued, to 119 actually right as we speak right now uh well whatever let me see 121 as we speak right now so notice this big move uh down 
uh, and uh, I wanted to show uh, I wanted to show off rather um, uh, you know we I actually sent this out uh, as a Twitter uh, as a tweet so there it is my prediction for Tesla from October 2022 downside target of 120 was met so there is that initial um, alert back in September then here on um, around mid-September I said that we can easily hit 120 why I'm gonna show you why I thought that uh, we could hit uh, 120 and there it is uh, if we look at the weekly chart of Tesla so alert short alert was actually way up here um, in uh, September or even in uh, August of this year so around 285 is the is the level where alerts were sent however I was looking at this uh, candlestick right there on, on the week of October 20 uh, Monday October 10th right there and I said okay so if we break below this level um, most likely we will duplicate this level on the downside so we did you know pretty much that right there so around around that much we duplicated on the downside so that's uh, the target has been reached in other words there is now a very good chance that Tesla will at least attempt to bottom here um, so again if you are a subscriber uh, big congratulations because this is a huge trade and it was just dramatic it just collapsed so if you bought put options here um, it went immediately in your favor and you just made huge money basically here so congratulations um, moving on to uh, the dollar so big deal um, you know this week there was a a lot of talk about interest rates where they go and um, dollar didn't really do much uh, this week it just sort of traded sideways uh, so looking at weekly chart I mean we did lose a little bit and actually actually we did close at new lows for this move so I think dollar indeed has uh, topped I think dollar has topped right there on September 26 um, week of September 26 and it is now approaching um, downtrend level so what does that mean downtrend or bearish levels below this red line at 102.185 meaning that if we close below that level where my system will consider uh, this security no longer being in an uptrend but rather being in a downtrend and it will start thinking about selling short finding opportunities to sell short uh, by extension uh, if we look at gold XAU USD so we're trading gold in US dollars so if the bottom part of this equation where I'm hovering gold divided by US dollar is getting smaller uh, the top part will pull this currency pair higher so if the if dollar is getting weaker gold will get stronger indeed this is what's happening uh, whereas dollar um, topped out here somewhere yeah somewhere around September uh, gold did the opposite and bottomed out uh, and then uh, went higher so right now again we're seeing those downward facing arrows uh, possible um, or other definite uh, short signals however once again I am reluctant to take them because I think that there is now a good chance that gold also has bottomed uh, by extension that dollar has topped if if dollar has topped then gold will benefit uh, and these downward facing arrows short alerts are indeed bear traps so right now I'm just waiting it out and seeing what's gonna happen uh, a good chance is that dollar has topped gold uh, will continue higher from here all right that's it for this week's recap if uh, because uh, we have a trade going for natural gas so I can't really uh, tell to the general public but if you're not yet a subscriber so consider signing up by going to mastercharstrading.com click on sign up so I have uh, two products so I have the trading indicators and the newsletters so the trading indicators are these lines on the chart this green blue red and yellow line they are available for tradingview.com tradingview.com interface where I'm hovering 
um, you don't need you only need a free trading view account but once you sign up on my site I can open the door for you and activate the indicators on your account so you can see them as well so those are the indicators you can use them pretty much to trade um, anything that moves uh, on pretty much any time frame so for example gold uh, you can trade on five minute chart for example uh, for example I would be uh, in this particular on this particular chart I would be buying um, that this move right there five minute chart um, you can obviously trade it on daily charts as well um, and on weekly this is a weekly chart so each candlestick is a week's worth of activity also you can sign up for my newsletter I send out daily alerts about the various securities we trade um, and weekly uh, members only video recap uh, and this week we will cover a bunch of stocks and a bunch of actual trades that we have open all right that's it for this week's recap again if you have any questions please let me know uh, don't forget to hit the like button uh, subscribe to the channel share this video and thank you for watching have another great trading week bye, -bye.